Remember the $84,000 house? Well, we finally got it cleaned up and I found some big surprises. Ooh, house is all cleaned up, okay? So we got some big surprises here that quite frankly, I'm gonna have to deal with or address because if I don't, it's gonna be a mess later and I've been here before and I'll tell you that story at the end of the video. If you're looking, um, you look down this floor, we discovered we have hardwood. Hardwood is normally a great thing. I can get these refinished, there's some missing spots. Like if you look over here with the plywood, there's some missing spots, but we'll get this, uh, might get this addressed. I was originally gonna go with LVP, um, luxury vinyl plank, but there's some flooring issues that have to be addressed because this has to be evened out. That's one thing. I'm looking over here. This is our, like our dining area here. I told you we're gonna go with a, uh, a butcher board countertop. Um, I'm gonna add some cabinets. And this was the washer. This is gonna get moved if you're looking at that. I'm um, gonna put a dishwasher here, but, um, and I want you to look at the sink. Look how nasty this is. It's just bugs all around there. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna move this. And we're gonna try to get this over here. So this is where the dryer goes. This is where the dryer goes. I was wondering where it goes. So we're gonna try to move this over here to make this more functional. Uh, if you take a look at this panel box, this has to, I, I gotta get this updated and address. And you know, this is a, um, a flip. So if I don't do it, huh, it's gonna catch up to me. The smell, it doesn't smell like death anymore because we got the fridge out of here. The air surprisingly works. Uh, bathroom, hopefully we'll start demo on that tomorrow. Hopefully we'll start demo on that and get that looking good. They put plywood, this is eight, this is eight through, this is rotted out. But I wanna say that Joyce is rotted out as well. So there are some crawl space issues. Now, that's the biggest surprise. I didn't want that because it, di it dips too, but there are some crawl, spaces, crawl space issues here that I have to address. Um, we're doing all new doors, so. Hmm. Wow, what is this? This can be used for something good, I feel. I'm gonna take some thoughts. I can do a closet. You can probably put a stackable here. Stackable washer and dryer could go here. A closet, stackable washer. Hey, what would you wanna see here? Uh, uh, your washer and dryer here, which is gonna be a stackable because of that, or would you rather have closet there? Comment below and let me know. Let's go over here. Original hardwood. This has hardwood in the closet, but other ones don't. If you're looking at the floor, this is years and years and years and probably well over a decade of water stains. This was a rental property. You know, they had carpet, but this is like, it's a little bit of glue, but you can also see a bunch of the water stains. And when I mean water stains, it doesn't necessarily have to be water. People were spilling stuff on it and wasn't getting it up. Now, with this popcorn ceiling, I have intentions on scraping this, just scraping this down and paint. The reason why I saved this room for last is because this is the big surprise that I, I have to address when fixing the houses. You wanna fix them right. This house, um, you guys can't see it in the video, but there is some sloping going on, so I gotta get the, some crawl space issues addressed. This is what we're dealing with. Now, if you're looking, this is buckling. If you can see the buckle, right? The buckle is normally due to water and uh, cold air, like it's, it, it rises up, right? So there was probably no, the, the winter passed, a few winters passed actually, and yeah, and it's buckled up and there was water. That has to be addressed, that has to be repaired. You cannot put LVP on that, on top of that. I had a situation like this before, whereas I ignored the foundation issues, not intentionally. I just, we didn't, no one crawled under the house. We just 
did a cosmetic job. All right, it's ready for market and it didn't sit, but every contract I got, it was issues going under there. So I, I spent about $7,000 in fixing the uh, crawl space issues, about 7,000 in fixing that. So, you know, I learned a lot from that house. So I want to get this addressed so it can be cheaper because if I wait, right, the buyer does their inspection. If I wait, then I got to rip out what's here to correct that. So I come, I come out a lot cheaper if I correct that the first time going in. I got to get all this taken care of. That's the big surprise. That's the big issue. But there's some crawl space issues going on that has to be addressed. And I am on top of that. Again, guys, you guys know me. I'm Nasser, AKA the real estate guru. I'm not a guru. I'm a guru because I actually do this business. So I deal with real problems because real problems happen in real estate. I will tell you like this. Usually nothing goes right and I have to address this to get this right um, regardless of what it takes because I have to deliver a good product to the end buyer, man. So yeah, um, if you ever got any real estate surprises when walking in a house or you bought a house, man, just um, comment below. Let me know, man. Let's expose the real side of real estate, man. That's why you guys follow me and I appreciate that, man. And also while you're here, man, just make sure you like this video if you're watching and just like that joint, man. Thanks for making it to the end. And also just watch the video that's next to me. Click on that joint. Stay on the channel.